Welcome back to a brand new tutorial. It's your boy Jacob from Tiny Tapes here, and we're gonna be recoloring the Yeet Pop and Music video. I've converted all the clips into flat footage. We're gonna be coloring with my LUT pack. If you guys wanna go check it out, it'll be linked in the description below. It is currently on sale. We have four clips here. We're gonna be coloring each of them individually. We're gonna go over to our project. We're gonna right click, and we're gonna create an adjustment layer, guys. So if you aren't coloring with adjustment layers, I highly recommend this to what you guys do for your videos. We're gonna go over to Lumetri Color and then Creative. We're gonna hit Look, and we're gonna hit Browse. Now, opening this up, we're gonna go over to the Tiny Tapes Ultimate LUT pack, guys. There's over 285 LUTs in here. So let's go with the completely random LUT here. Let's go with 260 and see how this looks. Now this has like a cool darker gothic look to it. We're going to go into basic correction here and turn the contrast up the highlights up and the shadows up a little bit. We're going to turn the saturation up too, like the way that looks there. And then add a little bit of orange. We're adding a tiny bit of green, maybe not that much orange. Maybe we can turn the shadows up a tiny bit. So to spice this up even more, we're going to go into our Tiny Tapes Vintage Film Looks pack. We're going to drag rain from the pack right here and crop it to the footage. And then we're going to go over it. We're going to change this to overlay. This adds a cool grain effect, guys. This is the grain I use for my footage. Highly recommend you guys play around with that. And then going on to our actual footage here, guys, we're going to go and we're going to throw in Dehancer Pro just to show you guys this. So quickly, in Dehancer. We're going to go under Film, turn that off right there. We're going to use the color correction that we did from our LUT pack. So turning this on and off, you can use the built-in ones that they have here. But like I said, we're going to turn that off. We're going to go down to the halation. We're going to turn that on just a little bit there. And as you can see, a good example of this is see the corner of this Lamborghini right here where the light's hitting. See what it kind of has a red outline. And then when halation's off, that's not there. The halation is super clean, guys. I love the look of it. And if you want to turn it up, turn local diffusion to 20 and global to 20 just to give it in there a little bit more, especially in his glasses there in this pole. Really like the look of that. And then bloom as well. What the bloom does here is see certain areas of this car here. We turn it on and off. It kind of pops it out even more, makes it brighter. I think that gives it a really cool stylized look there, guys. If you guys are looking to grab Dehancer, you guys can use my code in the description to get 10% off. I highly recommend it. It's a new plugin that's going wild right now. We can hold all, drag up, duplicate this clip here, go into presets and drag on our tiny tapes vintage glow. Now it looks absolutely insane right now. If you like this look, you guys can go ahead and use that. Crazy. We're going to go into effect controls and turn the opacity down to 50% and boom, less blown out look, but still glowing. Before before and then after crazy texture guys looking really good but let's move on to the next one here and we're going to drag another adjustment layer on guys crop that to the footage open up lumetric color go into creative just like before and we're going to throw on a random LUT. let's throw on 66 and see how that looks there cool all right let's go to basic correction we'll turn up the contrast and the saturation and we'll crank the highlights those really need to be brought up there maybe even turn up the shadows while cranking the contrast just to get some of the highlights in there even more and guys i want to let you guys know you can even create a second lumetric color and drag and drop that on there if we go over to effect controls we have two lumetric colors here so even if you wanted to crank highlights even more you can go ahead and do that here we're gonna do that right there and boom we have a cool looking look right there i'd even say that's really comparable to the og footage so if you guys are looking for more of a cleaner look definitely use let 66 like we used here all right now moving on to the next one here this ultra wide shot here let's drag and drop another adjustment layer on crop it to our footage just like before and let's go over to lumetric color once again go over to creative and open up our lot pack guys we're gonna scroll through let's check out 130 here that's kind of a cool up, but it's more darker. I'm gonna look for a brighter one here with more of a stylized look. Let's go with the very last look here, 282, and see how that looks. Wow, that is a very blue look. All right, so let's go over to basic correction and crank the saturation up. The blues are going wild right now, so we're gonna balance that out with a little bit of orange there, and then a little bit green. Maybe we can turn the saturation down a little bit. All right, let's turn the shadows down. All right, let's turn the contrast up, the highlights up, and the shadows down. Turn the whites up a little bit, and the blacks down. Now, boom, that is a really unique look right there, guys. If we compare the footage there, the cars aren't as bright, but it's a more stylized look there, I would say. Even if we go ahead and throw the Tiny Tapes Vintage Glow on there, guys. Boom. Look at that car right there. The cars are glowing like crazy. I love the look of that. Before and then after, guys. Crazy. And for this very last scene here, let's go ahead and get started on it. Drag and drop the adjustment layer on there. Go over to Lumetric Color. Creative. Let's go with number one, guys. This is a really clean black and white look. I don't know if you guys like black and white footage, but I love playing around with it, especially when we throw the film grain on there. You get a really unique look when you pair the film grain. And let's drag this up and let's throw the vintage glow on there. So pairing the vintage glow with the film grain, really cool look. So this is without it and with it. If you guys enjoyed this video and like the LUT pack or any other presets I use in this, they'll be linked in the description below on my website. I recommend checking out our last video alongside a playlist of a bunch of other tutorials I know you guys will like. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.